there, Well Watcher. My name is Wifey Well, and today we're back playing some more Fallout New Vegas. And we are preparing to begin the next DLC. The Midnight Science Fiction Feature Mojave Drive-In. I don't remember the name of the actual DLC, go figure. But let's see if we can bring some companions with us. Not quite sure. Hopefully they can come with, but we'll see. Eddie and Boone, because Veronica has been decently useless. Boone, where are you? I saw him meandering about right before I started recording. I'm not sure where he went. Hello. Is it time? It is time. I'm ready when you are. Let's go, big boy. Whoa. And then hopefully I don't have to just re-dismiss you guys, but we'll see. We will see. Time will tell all. Casino floor. He's like running ahead. He's like leading the charge. He's ready and willing to sacrifice his life for us. I like to see it. All right, boom. Let's do this. Show location. Now we've been there before. Huh? Oh. I'm in Dum Dum. It took me there and I'm like, follow the dots. Where are we going? Don't mind me. I'm only useless. As usual. Whoa. Buddy old pal, old friend. It's called the Midnight, right? We've seen the telly before. Like the, yeah. It was an eyeball. Now we did empty out our inventory quite a bit. As you can see. Alright, let's see if I can bring y'all with. So, it says we're doing Old World Blues. Um, you have a premonition that while you'll be unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty, you will be able to take anything you can carry with you, and you will be able to return to the Big Empty anytime after completing Old World Blues. Okay. Doesn't say anything about companions. Ah. Uh, Fudge sickles. And now I'm gonna have to do something down. It said no vacuum trim. Damn. All I wanted was some buddies to join me. But apparently that's too much. In the years before the Great War. Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank <laughs> Why did he pause? where no problem could not be solved, He's letting us where soak no it question in. could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war fighting their battles at the atomic level. 
Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution. Winning the war. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Well, that sounds about right. You feel strangely heavier. Quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Oh, that's great. We've been christina -ed. Door to the sink. Wow, we. Um, patient gown. Oh. How sexy do we look? Hey. What does that gun say? R. R. Eric? I don't know why it would say that. I should be using... Oh, it says stop. On this side. Yes, yeah, stop indeed. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it says arrest. Let's get a look of... Okay, alright. Welcome to the big... Find out where the hell you are. We can do that. And it says I feel heavier. Right? 76 pounds, weight free. Status effects. Spineless strength. Ew. That one. Spineless. Sexy. I even have a little booty. Look, it's open in the back. I didn't notice that when we looked. Okay. Ooh. Big mountain. Definitely take the pre war money. Ooh. So that's. So I got cut open, and then someone was like, let's just put her out for a nice, big, dramatic opening view. Yes. Central intelligence. Personality files damaged or missing. Insert backup hollow tape to restore the files. Okay. Book shoot? Somebody was making some crack again. I don't know how to make crack. Oh no, I think it's meth. You a meth lab? Okay. Prior sleep. Okay, we can leave there. Oh. And it's a sophisticated area of fallout.
Very sophisticated. What the hell is that? It's like my son. Mine and yes man's child. Muggy. <gasps> oh, he's a little baby. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to talk to him in a second. Oh, it's our child. I love him. I love him. I'm going to protect him with all that I can. Mad scientist scrubs. It says just take. Muggy doesn't care. Muggy loves me. I'm his mommy. Hi, Muggy. <gasps> no! Muggy! Oh! Damn it! We're gonna have to get this stuff figured out stat. I must I must love the mug. Okay, that's where we came in at. Only one way to go. Strange feeling of pacifism comes over you and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Sure enough, it's not working. isn't a good idea. Hi? I thought I heard the pacification fields kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. He's like the Wizard you of are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We... Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? Are they cussing? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now. Now. Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. No, what was I talking about? Think. Dinkleberg. Uh... Did... Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Moros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. What? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct... This lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin envelope once containing it. Let's not use if that so, one. it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. Um. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. Not everybody. I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Clyde, 
Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The Lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little Lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the Mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. What the Wait. hell did they do to me? If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. What does that mean? It can only be... If it isn't it my own colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, he has like a broken Big knife. Fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions oh, swarm no, across Big no. Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The no Forbidden scary. Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that could save us, they are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Was ask the lobotomite for help. Hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, that it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what if it's brain? We scoped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now with its big teddy bear eyes. Did they really take out if my brain? ask it politely and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, 
Then came the coils, the Tesla coils, the coils of Nikola Tesla. Brainless part. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction and shock from melee damage. Okay. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High and Richie Marcus. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Oh. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Heartless perk. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned. Ooh, and filters in your artificial blood pump to regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was burst. Third was the spine. Spineless perk. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled. Your strength and damage threshold has been increased. Okay. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. Uh, if so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. Why the Fisher of Rolando? Enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite. Listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Yes, it is our only chance, a desperate plan that came to us after Mobius's first broadcast. Maybe. Just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. The plan was very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. Uh -huh. Um, no. to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. 
Will you help us? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good for us. Okay. Nonsense! This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun, able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There, we have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of our labs and secrets! There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes, lest they burn from your skull. You would not dare. Perhaps I can change your mind, using the greatest of our sciences, the fence. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously by your deadened perceptions this is all well and good but what about muggy oh uh, dr klein dr klein if i may intersect for a moment what is it the lobotomite is asking me things oh and i'm trying to ignore them my processors can't ignore you both at the same time well you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? 
What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob of my, my voice module. module. Okay. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. What? Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Alright. All, right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. I'm so disturbed. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns kill. Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft... Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If we're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun, with the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. Hmm, yes, I believe Watts Electronics tended to make the battery shelf life on the low end. They certainly did. Batteries for my vibe. The vivisectors would always come up short right before our climax. 
I think Watts manufactured hollow discs, or was it hollow tapes? Never can keep those two straight. Anyway, we're out of small energy cells. Dala. You have some? Why do we... Actually, never mind. I don't even want to know. And no, I don't want to handle your batteries. Just pass them on to the lobotomite yourself. The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving. Forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O. That only happened once. And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O, you rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your formography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Why are these robots so sexual? Yes. Maybe. Well, no, not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of the stupid labs. Or inside one of the stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Big Mountain shall be fielded with force. Forever. Fine, so, yes, get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But, it's not a climb. The lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers, so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We can give it Mobius's old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sing Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. You mean Muggy? We're also prevented from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sink Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. Damn, I wish we had one more intelligence. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What, like stuff? Things? Yes, things. 
I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's, it's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trick the thing's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive, and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid ship chokes on them. Again, your logic is unassailable in its simplistic need. Oh? Fine. It's not going to help. That ship will probably refuse them anyway, as stuck up as it is. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. So that was like a 30 minute conversation. Mm. Oh shoot, it's perk time. So I was told by my New Vegas mentor, Hayden, that the max level is level 50. So we're going to have to really figure out what we want to do. What is so for this, we need to be strength 6 and endurance 6. Okay, what is my, so one of them must not be at six, so maybe we should do intense training. And it was endurance. Okay, yeah. Well, we should definitely save, because that was, like I said, so much, so much talking. Grab my blankie. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Now we are ready to rumble. So apparently this is just a room full of sex craved robots. I don't really know what else to think about them. I really don't want to talk to them anymore. Is there any point in talking to him until he has his voice modulator fixed? I'm guessing not. The lobotomite antelope before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Cyber Do dog? you comprehend, commie animal? G 
just as I feared. Questions. Quizzes. Just as there were in American high school. And if there are no answers, how will the think tank graduate? Ah, uh, I just feel like we've talked so much already. Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers, they are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Indeed, docile, curious, safe, sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. Um, I'm gonna say this, just because I want to see how he reacts. Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense! From beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. We never contradict ourselves. So do not even try. In 2000, let's see, carry the three, then count backwards with the great static, or beyond, there were the tarantula debates, and something about hawks which made it around. 2003, May, Tuesday, it was definitely Tuesday. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater of Big Mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us. And anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Trapped? Nonsense! We are secure here from evil philosophies. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. 
That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend. Like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. Yes, quite unexpected and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Yes, in the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. Bob Tech was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. But capturing whole cities was hard. So we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny isolated towns. Then we observed. Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers. Until next time, then, provided there is a next time for any of us. He is quite the character, isn't he?
So the one robot I don't believe we can speak to yet. There's more robots yet to speak with. That is crazy. It's already been so long. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call it here then before we get stuck in another long conversation. I'm sorry that that's basically all we did this episode was listen to them talk, but hopefully we have most of the talking out of the way and we can get to the gameplay next time. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!